Portland Bureau leader resigns after a city audit finds her office lacked leadership and she still walks away with a full year's salary. Yeah, the woman who ran the Office of Neighborhood Involvement is getting a severance package worth close to $144,000. Why so much? Well, Tim Becker digging deeper into that. Amalia Alarcón de Morris ran Portland's Office of Neighborhood Involvement for 11 years. Last November, this audit blasted the agency, saying it lacked guidance, failed to create and execute yearly plans, and spent funding unequally. I think it's, it's, it was a fair criticism, and we need to look at that, and we need to do better. David Austin is now interim director of the neighborhood office, where Alarcón worked until Commissioner Chloe U. Daly took office this year. Well, we're hoping to lead the bureau in a new direction. Marshall Runkle, Udaley's chief of staff, tells me it's not the commissioner's office, but rather the city's HR department and attorney that decided to award Alarcón de Morris a full year's salary as severance, $144,000, despite the failures pointed out in the audit. I have the same reaction personally that I imagine many people in the city do. We were advised by the city's human resources department and the city attorney that like, if we were interested in making a change that this was the right approach. City HR director Anna Canwit has said in the past that one-time payouts help avoid ongoing costs to the city or drawn out litigation, allowing a clean break for a bureau that is trying to move forward. I'm just going to listen. I'm going to do a lot of listening over the next few weeks. And within a month or two, we're going to make some more decisions and become more efficient. But at what cost? Alarcón de Morris's severance is just the latest in a series of top-tier buyouts, costing the city millions of dollars since 2001. That's when city council voted to change the maximum possible payout from 30 weeks salary to one full year salary. You know, maybe this is the flashpoint that kind of calls the question to, you know, is this the right policy? In Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.